right, good morning, y'all. Good to see ya. Happy Thursday, happy community check-in day. Oh boy, good morning, good afternoon. Depends on where you're at in the world, I suppose. They, they hit us with a, hey, let me just say, huge shout out. If it's lagging, I blame YouTube because we haven't dropped a frame. Let me just say, uh, huge shout out to Gun for starting their 10 minute countdown 10 minutes before the, when the stream is supposed to start instead of right there. So, you know. Uh, dude, it's anytime I record on this thing now. So, it, hold on. Let me know if it fixes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I know why it's doing it, but I, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to fix it. There we go. How about now? Probably a little bit better now? Maybe? It's because... Oh, yeah. It's an, it was an encoding overload. How about now? Are we cooking here? Or it should be at like a thousand, twenty thousand kilobytes per second. Refresh. If you're still lagging, refresh. Can let me know. Yeah, I thought so. Trash. Oh, Mr. Bink coming in with the five gifted members to kick things off. I appreciate it. On a Thursday. That's unbelievable. Um. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, if you weren't awake, you're awake now. Wowie. Yeah. Let's let that pop in a couple more times. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, they did. They uh, they rolled her in 10 minutes. I'm going to turn these alert sounds off probably for now. I might just pop alerts off in general. I'll try to keep an eye on it. Because I don't want it to... Uh, I don't want it to cut them off at all. I hate to see it. But I do appreciate you, Mr. Bink. I do. I do. Uh, I'm not... I don't know what I'm expecting here. Um... I don't know why anything will be lagging. Shouldn't be. I mean, to not showing any drop frames. I don't get it. Let me check on my end. Watching the, the, the live on my end, it doesn't appear to be laggy at all. Let me jump up to a higher... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're good. Cool. Some of you are good, some of you are not. Okay, all right, we're all right. We're all on the same page. Good thing they gave us a ten minute countdown to work with, otherwise we would have been screwed. We'd have never, never even know what was going on. By the way, this little, this little like surf guitar thing they got going here. I like that. Yeah. Nerf infinite chainsaw rev. All right, take it easy, pal. I'm gonna tell you if you if we're if we're talking about nerf and not having chainsaw the uh, chainsaw sprint anymore, we're we're uh, in a complete that's a skill issue category where we can't talk about those things. Kenny Borders, brother, I appreciate you, man. I can't heart your super sticker, and I want to so bad. Things I would uh things I would like to hear today. I would like to hear, well, I mean, of course, uh, talking about content would be nice. It, it, I also don't, I don't really give a shit about content when there's so many other problems. Uh, but, I, hey, we'll take it. it. It'd be nice, something related to the new fan member, whatever. Um, I really like them to talk about parties. I'd love for them to address the backfill. Like, please just let, let us know that you understand that there is a really bad backfill here and that you're doing something about it. I would be a lot happier. That would be great. Um... And I imagine we're going to hear a lot about perks today. I, I got to assume they're, they're going to be talking about perks and balancing and metagame. Uh, but we'll see. I, 
I think if they reveal something today in the stream, it's one of those save face things. You know, like, the only way to get people in this community to ever calm down is with content. Um, I want to see Family Cosmetics. I honestly... I, it blows my mind eight months into this game, which we are genuinely eight months in. Happy, happy anniversary. Um, it blows my mind that we don't have a single cosmetic other than bloody skins for, like, Cook and Hitch. What is this world? How is that a thing? So, please, can we can we talk about that? Let's get some more Art Bully in here, and I'll feel better. Although, I didn't even buy the Ana skins yet. The Leatherface changed, yes. Actually, it's funny. Uh, Andy Murray who does the, is the lead animator on this game, actually DM'd me and was like, wow, that's still on, huh? Actually uh, DM'd me and uh, was like, hey, that's this is the way it was meant to be. I'm like, oh, this whole time? This whole time? That's crazy. All right, let's turn this back up. So we go in. What's going on, everybody? Uh... For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt. I'm your brand strategy lead here at Gun, and we're live with the community check-in. Um, before we get into the community check-in, I want to address the the chicken in the room. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. Yesterday, Wes uh, was feeling a little under the weather, and overnight that turned into full. They're gonna have Matt weather, solo so this Wes thing. Is out sick today. I uh, hope he's getting rest and feeling better soon. I don't like that. So I'm going to be running this one solo. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> like, you, now, you can't get anyone get else? Have, I have a bunch Andy, of Andy, Sid, Jet, anybody? Talk about. All right. Before I get into that, I want to make a couple of things Fuck, clear. that's what I was trying to, I was trying to turn them off. Showing off the new killer stream. This isn't the new family member. This isn't new content. This isn't, we're not pushing anything at you guys. There's members. I'm, uh, I'm turning them off. Hold on, give me a second. Chris, I appreciate you, man. Okay, hopefully um, those super loud alerts are off. Stream. You know, we wanted to, we, we know the situation with the game right now. Obviously, we're, I think uh, you guys realize we're very uh, in touch with our community and, you, you know, we we see what's going on and, and some of the frustrations that are happening. And so we had some things we wanted to address and we felt like the best way to get that done is to sit down and, and be in front of the camera and get these things said. It's um, hey, kind of part you... of the way this all works, having to uh, occasionally sit down and, 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 you know, the nature of the check-in, check in with you guys, talk about some of these things and get some things ironed out and talked about. Um, so yeah, like I said, all right, so you know, nothing new family content member, here. we'll have news on that soon enough. I'll talk a little bit about what's going on there and all of that within my notes. Uh, as well as the other pieces Bummer. of new content that we've got planned. Um, we've got a lot of things to cover. Um, I'm also going to take some of your questions, but I want to save that for the end. Let me get through this outline. Let's talk about these things that uh, kind of are the, the genesis of why we're even here for this stream, and then we can worry about some questions from the chat. So um, you might notice our chat's in slow mode. Just if you have an important question, just hang on to it for later, and um, I'll get to as many of those as I can. So... That being said, first off, I hope you're all having a great day. And, uh, you know, me and Nugget are going to try and get through. All, all uh, he this said is that now. they're not talking about content today. That's all there he, he said. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Oh, and by the way, quick shout out to our producer, Hopefully Rob. They at least He's over there the, uh... running everything for me. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? And uh, keeping things uh, ironed thank out you, here. And um, so, yeah, like I said, I have this checklist. We're going to get into that now. Um, Lay it and on. the first one that we want to talk about is is lobbies and, you know, more importantly, what's going on with the lobby situation? Um, you know, today is the end of the ninety days. Yeah, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it Day again. Day ninety, right here. And I want to put some huge caveats on this. It's not the only thing we're facing, but currently, the number one issue with lobbies is players dodging. And um, you know, I, I know that can be frustrating for the community to hear. Um, and I know it feels like, well, I mean, come on, it can't just be that. And um, you know, I'm not saying that it is only that. Um, the point that with, with bringing up the dodging situation, the dodging problem with lobbies is that whole situation is kind of making it difficult for the team to unpack what else might be going on with lobbies. Um, you know, we've been hunting down the, uh, what's been referred to as a backfill issue. We've been trying to, to look into that kind of a thing for a long time now, um, going back to shortly after launch. And there were some changes that we made and the, 
the, the problem with that investigation, though, is all of this lobby dodging stacked on top of it is making it difficult for us to try and see if there is anything going under- on, anything further going on, and if there is something going on, what that might be and how we can fix it. We need to make some kind of moves in order to limit the way lobby dodging is right now. And okay, well that I think yes, that, that too. <laughs> if you've played this game for any amount of time, you've certainly heard the well. If it if the other team has this family member, I'm dodging. If they have that victim, I'm dodging. If they're this rank, I'm dodging. If they're that rank, I'm dodging. If they're running this grandpa perk, I'm dodging. If it's that map, all of these reasons to dodge lobbies. And while we understand that players want to have that kind of control over the game mode they want to play, that is definitely impacting the situation with lobbies, both from a player experience standpoint and from the team, you know, in terms of the team trying to investigate what Where are my sticky notes at? (laughs) It's a sticky note kind of Um, day. A ranking system would not help. We'll have more news on that as we roll those things out. Trust me, it would not Um, help. I'll talk a little bit more about some patch cadence things coming up, but... um, Expect us to be making some changes in terms of how lobbies function on the side of lobby dodging because oh, we really my, need to rein that in. Which we're all murderers notebook out for this. On. But again, you know, uh, that that's not us saying, hey, it's entirely a dodge problem. It's more a matter of we can't get to that without cutting the, the dodge problem but off. But people dodging uh, is why you can, and, you can and, know and it's a backfill problem. Is, might is why it doesn't... might not be going on underneath. Like, so that's... <laughs> That. That's the whole the, the lobby. That's how you found out there's the a backfill days. problem. Uh, we definitely targeted a lot of content within that 90 days. And as you guys, I'm sure a lot of you realize and we've heard on socials and such, we're running right up to that. I mean, you know, we didn't really running set the 90 day too. thing out with like a hard exact day. Like the 18th is when this is up. It was more a matter of we felt confident with that 90 days. Now, obviously, we're running up to that 90 days, and some of that content that we talked about, namely the new family member, uh, a new game mode, um, you know, you've heard us talk about museum mode, and an execution pack, that stuff is obviously going to slip from that 90-day timeline. Well, at least he said Um, it. Basically, the the short answer and the short explanation there is the content was not where we wanted it to be yet. And rather than put out content that we felt was not up to snuff, um, rather than put that out and... You know, just so we could meet this 90-day mark, we decided to hold it. Uh, we're holding it until we can get it to a point that we feel confident and comfortable with. That being said, um, I don't think any of the work that we have going on there is uh, some insurmountable task. It's not that any of that content is in jeopardy of not seeing the light of day. It's more just a matter of it needed a little more time in the oven. As far That's... as when we will show, because again, like I said at the top of the stream, this is not a... This isn't our. We're, we're, this isn't like a big preamble to check out the new new. Um, <laughs> this is more about having an honest and frank kind of chat Good. with you guys. That's um, what it should be today. As far as I, when we'll I share that, that new family member, just keep an eye on our socials and all of our channels for that. Um, the uh, one thing that I, I also want to note about that shifting out of this ninety days and those pieces of content slipping from the ninety day timeline. That has no bearing on the longevity of the game. It's not some kind of uh, red flag or warning sign of any kind of problems. We still have all of the content we've been planning to put out. You've seen Wes tweet about content through the one-year anniversary as well as through the end of 2024. Um, This content slipping out of that 90-day window is not, it's, it's not, you know, a sign of anything, you know, shortening basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, we plan to continue this is probably to support about an hour long, Texas but Chainsaw Massacre in and through 2024 to the end. Um, that hasn't changed with this. It's just we, we're not going to put this stuff out just so we can say, yep, checkbox, we made the 90-day mark if it's not where we want it to be. Now, that's, somewhat tied to that, to um, again, I'm not, not mad at that. <laughs> not fully to blame, but a part of that is our develop, uh, development partner transition. I know a lot of you guys have been checking in on that and asking about that. Um you know, obviously, transitions like this, they're not without hiccups. Um, it's a big undertaking. Um, we're doing our best to make sure that this impacts the player base as little as possible. Um, that being said, we're making good progress, and we're cleaning up a lot of those processes that it takes in order to get this stuff done, um, both content and fixes. Uh, through that, though, we're kind of uncovering some things that we have to kind of put some attention to. And so, like I said, it's not without its hiccups, but, you know, we're all feeling pretty positive about the transition, we have a lot of cool things coming. And I do have some 
some of the bright sides to that, you know, transition of our development partner uh, coming up later in this outline that we can discuss. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah, basically that dev development transition, it's still in place. It's still kind of taking place. Um, and, and, again, like I said, I'd be lying if I said it was without hurdles, but we're tackling those, teasing out the problems, untangling things, and getting things figured out. Um, we're all confident here that in the long term this works out really well for the player base. And so while we appreciate your patience with us in the, in the, the, for the time being, um, we're, we're confident that you'll see the, the benefits of all of this work now in, you know, the month, a month to come, within a month to come. Uh, another thing, another thing I wanted to, oh, this is a good one. The perk patch. This is thrown uh, out yeah. a lot. There's a lot of questions about the perk yeah, patch. It's never going to happen. I wanted to kind <laughs> of, first off, provide a little insight into what we mean when we say perk patch. Um, we have a lot of smaller changes to perks that have gone into pretty much, I'm, the community team can call me a liar. I think they would probably know better than me. Uh, shout out our community team moderating in the chat. Um, I, I feel like every patch we've done since launch has had some kind of a shift to different perks. Um, those are usually value changes. You'll notice that a lot of those are like, we're adjusting the amount of you know, percentages at each of the three levels for a perk and things like that. Those value changes, as we refer to them, they've been excuse me, spread out through all of our patches so far. That's not the perk patch. That's the constant work that happens in a live game. The bigger perk patch is more about moving perks around in the skill trees. Um, uh. Maybe assigning a perk to a character who currently doesn't have an option in their skill tree to have that perk, uh. like Sunny and things uh. like that. Yeah. Um, that would be the bigger perk patch. That's a bigger undertaking, and that that will be better work. No more scout on Hitchy. <laughs> Um, zoom out a bit and look at the the trees and all of the different characters and how they're playing. No more empowered on Leland. Kind of really go in with intent. That's not onesie, twosie. Well, that's good to know, actually. Changes. So that is still coming. Um, while, I, as I said, you know, the work is detailed and it's extensive, it's ongoing, and um, we hope to have more news on that later in the spring to the early summer. But um, Ooh, yeah, keep an eye right. out for that because I no, think that's, that's, uh, away, I guess. that's really what the community is looking for with these perk changes. And it's, it's kind of uh, being misunderstood as these like two, three, or even five and six perks getting changed as the perk patch when really that's just the maintenance that you do in a live game. And on that topic, there are, I want to say, six perks getting some of those value changes coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. On the topic of patches, our next patch is April 30th. Uh, the okay. April 30th patch is going to be mainly fixes. Um, there's one piece of content in that. It's a uh, new cosmetic for a family member. We'll give you more details on that at, at a later time. Um, you got as 10 bucks as an AMC. To the 30th. But yes, the next patch is April 30th. And with that, it leads into the next point, which is we're aiming for a patch every two weeks from here out. So we'll have a patch April 30th, and we're aiming to have another patch two weeks following that, and two weeks following that, and on and on and on. Really? A um, couple of important notes on that patching schedule and kind of cadence. Uh, some of those will be mainly content with some fixes, and some of those will be mainly fixes with some content. Um, the way that'll probably most often work is going to be patch A is, for instance, the April 30th patch is mainly fixes with one cosmetic content, the patch two weeks later will be mainly content with a couple of fixes. And then two weeks after that, you'll get a patch with mainly fixes and a piece of content or two, and on and on and on. And that's kind of the rhythm we're looking to hit. Part of what's going on now when like we talked about personally. the dev transition and some of those processes we're ironing out is the framework to make that possible. Make those, you know, I, what is that, fortnightly? Oh, that's a terrible word. Huh? The fortnightly patch schedule happen. So, um, yeah, a big part of that is, is the process and, you know, refinements to the process that we're making now. Um, from there on out, uh, oh, in, in terms of cadence and timing of things, um, the team is targeting to drop a new cosmetic every two weeks for the next few months at least, if not into the foreseeable future. We're pretty confident we can keep that pace up. Um, but currently, oh. you know, again, because 
we don't want to overpromise and, and get ourselves into a stitch. We know for the next few months we're targeting a new cosmetic drop every two weeks. Uh, so th that's going to be family and victim cosmetics. It's one cosmetic per drop. A lot of you have asked about why would we share only one cosmetic per drop, and that's to kind of make sure that we're keeping these things sprinkled throughout, keeping yep. these things, um, you know. I'm okay with that. Keep, keeping you guys with something to look forward to in terms of a content piece. So even when we do have that fortnightly yeah. patch that's mostly fixes, we have a piece of content that we can sprinkle in there for you guys. Um, the only problem with that is the no victim bundles. Cosmetics you know? will be packs like wait, they are now, where wait, it's so a, a new outfit and then recolors for that outfit. Uh, the family cosmetics will be one outfit only, similar to like Bride Sissy and Shirtless Johnny. Um, because of this, the family outfits are at a little bit of a reduced price. They're only two ninety nine for a family oh, outfit. Wow. Um, and we also have some really cool free things coming, which, again. Not going to say much more on now, but we have, uh, matter of fact, I want to say we have a very cool free thing coming April 30th. So, you know, uh, uh, another thing to keep an eye on. Um, okay. And that's uh, that, that about covers my outline. There is one extra thing, actually, that I wanted to mix in here that doesn't exist in the outline. You may have seen on Reddit, our uh, community manager at large, Sid, has uh, posted a little bit of an update about what's going on with Leatherface. If you haven't, please go check that out. You can... You can head to the Reddit and filter by developer uh, response as a flare. You can also find in the sidebar of the Reddit our entire community team, and clicking any of their names will bring up their post and comment history, and you can find things that way. But basically, um, yeah, there's some things going on with Leatherface. There was a problem with family members not getting receiving door stuns. In the kind of a bit of the work that went into trying to get that resolved, some in progress work has made its way into the live build. Now this is again, leans into that transition talk that we talk about with the development partners and how we're kind of moving some things around and changing some processes. And with that, something that is not ready for prime time made it into prime time. And um, basically, yeah, so Leatherface is acting a little strange right now in game. Uh, the first thing I wanted to note, which Sid noted in the comment pretty clearly, but I wanted to reiterate, what you're seeing there is not final, so don't think that's that's how that Leatherface is going to be from now on. That's very much in progress and incomplete work, so it's important to keep that in mind. Um, basically, we need to tune things with Leatherface a bit. We're looking at ways we can kind of give Leatherface a little bit more of an imposing kind of um, personality in the match and be a little bit more of a threat and a little more resilient to stuns and things. Where that all lands, we don't quite know for sure yet so again like i said what you're seeing in game right now is by no means permanent or in no means the uh you know what is eventually going to make it into the game um that being said what will make it into the game i can't share any more details with you about that right now and i know that that frustrates a lot of you when we say you know we can't share any more about that stay tuned um this is a good opportunity for us to talk about what that all means though that leather face um, tattoo and a huge part of what that means is that. the team is still working through that and I'm not going to tell you where they're at right now because that's not where they're going to land. They have, they, we have to let them cook, as we like to always say. Ah, let them cook. So, basically, a lot of time, a, a lot of frustration over the stay tuned thing. There's a, that's one of the biggest motivators behind it. We're trying to make sure that we let our our, our people do what they do best. And um, let's be honest, the the game that you guys are all rabidly in love with is the game that it is because we let them cook. And so. We have to let them do their their work on this leather face thing before we can talk more about it. So I, I know, I know, you don't want to hear another stay tuned from me, but by the same note, it's important to occasionally talk about this and, and get this out in the open about, you know, these are the same people responsible for the game that you love, responsible for all that potential and all that that you see in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, um, yeah, when the community team hits you with a, hey, stay tuned, or, or you know, we'll have more details on that later, just know that behind the scenes, there's people over here doing what they do best, and we need to give them the room to do it. So with all that being said, I know a lot of you wanted to hear, oh, the new thing is coming now, this new thing's coming now, or, you know, whatever the case is, and you're not getting that today. Um, just being honest, uh, yeah. That's okay, I felt Matt. that. I feel like that's the right call as today. a team that it was more important to sit down and talk through these things and um, kind of, uh, you know, just put a person in front of the camera, so to speak, that... Um, 
can address these these topics that are that are bugging you guys without it being like um, all just a preamble up to us marketing the next part of the game for you. Yep. Um, I'm going to jump into some questions now, and you know, again, we've got chat. I want to say in slow mode, so feel free to like start tossing your questions in now. I see a bunch in there all already right. that I can tackle, and we'll um, you know. We'll get through as many as we can in a bit here, and then we're going to call this one done. Uh, first off, I, I see here, what about Blood Skin and 4 Execution for Nancy? Um, yeah, we're working on catching up characters like Nancy. Uh, I'll put it this way. It's in the, it's in the works. It's in, in the plans. But, um, yeah, we have to kind of figure out how we want to roll those out because, obviously, those bloody packs and things like that, that all kind of came out before Nancy existed. So how do we go about the adding Nancy to the bloody execution pack? Do we even worry about adding it to the pack? And on and on and on. Um, but it is something that we know uh, our Nancy fans want to see. So it's definitely a, a part of it. And as far as executions, yeah, we're always trying to make sure that we're, we're covered and shooting extras there. But again, you know, ongoing stuff with the next execution pack, which you know was mentioned within the 90 days, um, that's also still being ironed out and worked on. Are there any plans to change the grappling mechanic? The rate that they are occurring to do objectives right now in front of family has become excessive. Agreed. The grappling situation is has become meta and and a bit strange. Oh, um, gee, who saw that coming? The team's confident in the change to the third man in, as I, I like to refer to it, which is previously, if you were in a grapple, another family member could show up and instantly kill you. We didn't really feel like that was working out how we had wanted it to, so we... We stand by the change there, but with a major change like that, we have all these other kind of ripple effects that we have to tackle. Uh, perks, obviously tuning some of the perks related to grapples, maybe even tuning the grapple balance, uh, victim and family. All oh, of that shit. stuff has yeah. to that has to now happen. When you change something as major as that it's third man in being able to instant kill you're going to have kind of aftershocks of the earthquake. And right now we're working on those. That's why you're seeing us talk about things like changes to Empowered, changes to Grappler, changes to some of those perks. And then we'll evaluate again and see if there's more that needs to be done. So yeah, it's absolutely on the table. Um, but again, this is incremental work that has to happen. Sunny buff when? I like to think that some of the things that are coming in the perk patch count as sunny buffs. But um, we hear you loud and clear on that. And again, that's one of those areas where we're letting design cook. We're going to let them do what they've got to do. And uh, we'll have more on that as soon as it's ready for consumption. But uh, we hear you on Sonny. I love Sonny. I think Sonny's a great character. He's, you know, Sonny and Connie are what I still roll with. As much as I love Virginia, I still roll Sonny and Connie. Um, but yeah, we hear you on that. And, and Sonny could use a couple of maybe more, some more variety in what he can do. Um, are you all aware of the Nancy Endurance bug? Yes, we absolutely are. It's on the list. It's with the team. The team is, as we say, investigating. Um, you know, again, that's something that you'll have to keep an eye out. Keep an eye on Muerto Times and Patch Notes for more information on that. And as soon as it's ready to talk about where that's going, we, you know, of course will. Can you share ETA on the next victim? Uh, I cannot at this time. As, timings are not the goal of this stream, but I can say we are working on another victim. Will Julie ever get we different know. makeup colors for different <laughs> cosmetics? It's that's a pretty cool all idea. Maybe that's something that we could look into in the future. I'm not even sure. There is a chance that the team has already thought on that. Um, but absolutely, our community, our, our community team, which is in chat and you know, right on the other side of that door, uh, we can propose that feedback to the team for sure. Can we please get a change of hairs? That's uh, another feedback that we've seen. Uh, we've talked at great length about hair physics and the problems inherent in that. But, you know, maybe some different hairstyles, that, that could be cool. Absolutely. On behalf of the, all the community, can you apologize for everything your community is going through with your game? You've never heard sorry. I'm not sure what there is that needs to be apologized for, but if you feel that an apology is needed, that? absolutely, I'll say. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're going through things. Um, Why the you fuck know, I, would I he read that, that dude? <laughs> It's a tricky thing with the <laughs> apology topic. Um, you know, obviously nothing that we do here is, is <clears throat> rooted in a position of malice or ill intent toward the people that support our games. Uh, I, think that, I think that that gets lost in is the translation a there a bit. 
I think that a lot of players you seem to think that um, we're either not respective of their feelings or maybe we don't pay enough attention to them. Um, but I can guarantee that even when things don't quite go the way we'd hoped they would, it's not because we're sitting back going, yeah, screw it, we're not really worried about we, that. We um, know, man. We appreciate our player base and the people who put faith we, in us. You didn't More need to read it. More than you realize, if it's important to you to hear me say I'm sorry, then I'm sorry, and um, just know that we're all, we all love the Texas Did Chainsaw Massacre as much as you guys no. do, and we're working as hard as we can. Like he it. wants people to get mad at him, dude. No. Uh, let's go to the next one here. Do you guys it's play all public right. lobbies? Absolutely we do. Nugget, yeah, some nugget love there. Absolutely we play public lobbies. Can we get a small buff to stun perks, perhaps? Are you talking about stun resistance perks or, or perks on the victim side that deal longer stun damage? Uh, let's see here. Somebody said a whole bunch of nothing. I'm sorry this stream didn't really check the box for you, but I feel like we did discuss some good things. Not a question, Matt, but love the shirt. Thank you so much, Deadpool. Will Nancy get her endurance fixed? Absolutely. That's not, that's not staying broken. I mean, that would be silly. It's just a matter of when and how that fits in and obviously unpacking everything that might be going on there. Uh, let's see. Will we see the new Julie and Connie cosmetics soon? Super excited. I'm not sure what the schedule on cosmetics is. And obviously, again, it, you know, you've heard us talk about want, not wanting to be too rigid in scheduling those things. Um, but yeah, we definitely have Julie and Connie cosmetics planned. And let me just tell you, they're freaking cool. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a Connie main. I, I don't get to play Connie much because... A lot of people are Connie mains, but um, yeah, the Connie one is really dope, and it's coming soon. Are there any updates to new maps or any news on the licenses? Nothing that I could share right now. Um, obviously, Gun is always hunting and hoping for you know every license we can. Yeah. We want to give the players what they want. We hear you guys that you want to see more licenses in the game, and we're always going to try and hunt down all of them. That's a large part of what we do. Um, but also, I think you guys have seen folks like Wes talk about that pretty pretty candidly and transparently on socials that it's not just a go get rang out for a, a, a new license. It's There's a lot of work in that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see mm -hmm. here. I saw something about Grapple that I want to scroll back to, but my scroll isn't working. Oh, no. I think I waited too long on it. If you ask that Grapple question, by all means, hit me again. Uh, will there be any new Grandpa perks? That's a good question. I think that that's all kind of intertwined in the that bigger perk patch work. Um, I think that there's some opportunity there, knowing what I know about the grandpa perks. Um, but I can't really confirm whether or not, you know, that's uh, uh, guaranteed or when that would even happen. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I have to get to the newer messages because I'm taking way too long to answer these. Johnny's overpowered right now. Yes, I have seen a lot of feedback about the Johnny situation. And I did want to touch on that because there is a significant portion of what I'm seeing that is absolutely latency. Um, I know that's not the answer you guys want to hear. God. There is there is a lot of latency in these videos that we're seeing. Oh, and, um, God. You can see it on the family <laughs> side as well. Uh, I want to say Maddie on Twitter shared a really good video of Leland and him being in close quarters in the family house. And then Leland runs upstairs and he's all the way up the stairs and then the cook, get, who Maddie was playing as, gets backstabbed. Uh, that's a good example of latency and how that presents. And I think that because the family is obviously all melee attack, it presents more on the family attacking victim side. That being said, Johnny right now is often the family member in these videos. So that kind of immediately means that while there is a portion of that that's most likely latency, it, it can't be a coincidence that he's in a lot of these videos. So again, the team's going to have to take a look at things. And because this all sprung up around a patch, there's a high probability of maybe something got uh, tweaked, tuned, or otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, something made its way into the game that shouldn't have. And so we're unpacking and looking at that. I know the community team has already been reporting on that to our development partners, and we're working on getting through what's going on. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, mm. when the new family will be ready. Uh, again, I don't have dates on that. Will we see a level cap increase? Absolutely. Oh, uh, let's see really? Because you guys plan on last answer I saw on it was we're looking into it one day. Characters, I thought they were backtracking on that. Like that. Maybe doing a contest. 
Uh, I don't, we don't have any plans of that. And honestly, that gets into a tricky area. You know, typically, um, it's a better bet to continue to try and do what we can on the call community side to nurture this. fan content. I think that you guys Somebody do tell a wonderful Anthony, job. There's a few this. out there. Uh, I know I can think of Bree and uh, Erica, I want to say, are two of my favorite OCs that I see on socials a lot. Um, so shout out to the people who create those. Obviously, a lot of love and passion goes into that. Um, but we also have a, a team here creating things that are all within the lore and, you know, match up those lore streams that you guys love so much and all that stuff that we talk about. All of that kind of mashes up uh, in a way that we like to think we create characters that fit in that. And um, aside from the problems with, you know, sourcing community content and putting that into a game and, you know, all of that. Um, but I, none of that's to say we don't appreciate it. Uh, obviously, we appreciate all the hard work you guys do. And some of these detailed backstories and things, that's just wild, and we love to see it. Uh, let's see here. A contest would be neat, though. I do think that it, there's room for us to do a cool contest to no, this outside of the He's game live right with now, these though. original characters. Sure, I think there's something we'll call him on Discord. work out there. Make him answer. Tell him, Matt, tell him do call we him. Will, do we will have a friends list? Do, will we have a friends list? Yeah, I think this would be good. Game that list. has a couple of hurdles. I'd have to check in with production on what all that would entail. It's, it's I know that hurdles. it was no small undertaking yeah. at the time of launch, which is why there isn't one present. Um, I don't know, you know, again, production isn't my particular, you know, uh, department at all. So uh, I would have to check in with them if anything has maybe changed or if there's some kind of new movement on that. But uh, we hear you on it. Obviously, it would be great, but it's not without its problems. Please fix matchmaking. That's something that we're obviously definitely going to be looking into. As we said in the beginning of the stream, we have to get to the bottom of some of these things with lobby dodging, get that kind of off the top. You know, if we can eliminate most of the lobby dodging issues, um, we can then start to really see what might be happening with matchmaking. But it's awfully difficult. Yeah, they haven't brought up party disbanding specifically yet. Put. Are we still getting the Nancy Nighthouse map variant? I uh, I cannot confirm or deny anything, but that would be pretty rad. It was already kind of confirmed, so, but I hear uh, you. Can you guys fix Virginia voice when Leatherface <clears throat> hooks her up? Is that the scream? I think that's the sc a scream. We did have a couple of Virginia fixes in the last patch. I want to say one of them didn't make it in for that. Uh, I can check on the status of that, though. By all means, uh, hit up the community team uh, about that one, and we'll hopefully have a status update for you. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Somebody asking about map voting. Map voting is something we're we're very interested in as part of our work to potentially curb some of the dodging. But again, you know, we have to kind of get through that work. Are the sissy buffs still coming? We have some plans for sissy. Is suffocating grip supposed to work on just the individual with it or for all family members? I feel like it's supposed to work for all family members, but I'll, I'll have to look into that further. But... I want to say suffocating grip is for all family members. It is. There might be a weird thing with the description there, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Not Correct. Uh, can we boy. get <laughs> limits on button mashing again to eliminate macros? I don't think that caps have been lifts, lifted for that. I feel that there is a, a, a cap there that leaves room for you to mash, but not to a point where there's a... Ben I'd, I'd have to I dig don't into know that if there is. and talk to Prod. Um, but yeah, I feel like Andy from the community team had an answer out about that. And if not, I know he was looking into it already. So I'll check in with Andy when we're done here. Um, let's see here. Well, yeah, but, but we're not. You guys do really great me, with Ana Outfit. Out, we really Andy. love that. Thank you so much. Put him on the stream. Uh, huge shout out <laughs> to out. Art Bully working on, um, some of these new cosmetics. We're seeing some really cool stuff and it's making its way to you guys. Again, as I said earlier in the stream, we're targeting every two weeks. I have a new cosmetic of, changed. for one or the other victim or family. Um, a quick refresh. Uh, Victim cosmetics will stay in the same route, like the, the, the same kind of pattern that they've been now, which is one outfit and some recolors. The family side is a singular outfit, which is why the family outfit is a little cheaper than the victim one. Um, Are you promising, Kin, because you run a macro? Cheater. Will Virginia spawn in with her ability slowly loading like other victims? Will there be weather aspects such as rain be included in the future? Weather aspects are interesting. Um, it's something that we've definitely kicked around. Virginia's cooldown on her ability, because of the way the ability functions, it's not something that we, we necessarily <clears throat> felt that we strongly needed. But again, 
<clears throat> excuse me, I, I, I brought water and I didn't touch it. I've just been talking this whole time. Um, oh, it's 1, 2, you, 3, 4 p.m. Make a wish. Uh, the Virginia spawn with her ability slowly loading thing. Yeah, it's not something that we felt was imperative for her to launch, but as with all of these new characters, we keep an eye on them to make sure that if there's opportunities to balance, we will. Um, let's see if we got any more here. We need Nico's Nancy skin art in game. I love what Nico does. Oh, Nico, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I would have to check out the Nancy skin. I don't think I've seen that yet. But yeah, shout out Nico. Like which one? Nico's uh, a few will things. Will stealth get any love, Matt? Um, we feel that a lot of the changes that we're making kind of are helping nudge stealth a bit. But if you have thoughts, by all means, leave them on the Reddit for us, and uh, the community team will check them out. Oh, will there that's be where we're leaving feedback now. In the future, possibly not, as part of that larger perk patch, we have to get in there and dig through form. some of those things. Looking at you, bringing home the bacon, and figure out what's going, what's staying, what's bringing moving, what's not. Bacon. Blah blah blah. Will Virginia's what lore be more perk. explored? Like what happened to Jesse? There's a ton of lore there. Um, let me just real quick say that what you guys get in terms of lore is often the tip of the iceberg. Ronnie and Rob, our designers um, and our designer and creative director, uh, they are number one, some of the most in depth and comprehensive when it comes to putting together lore. They really get into these characters' heads, think through every aspect of them, their personality, why they're there, their motivations. There's so much more to each of them. And when you guys do get those, even those bigger lore drops that you guys have been pretty pumped on, I, I feel, um, it's still just the tip of the iceberg. So will it be explored further? That's a question for Ronnie. I I, I, I don't see any harm in it, but uh, maybe in an upcoming lore stream we'll have Andy and Ronnie back. That would be cool. Uh, In-game currency, when? Definitely something we would like to do, but it's definitely not like a throw on the currency mm -hmm. switch. That's a, that's a pretty big undertaking. Um, so yeah. Right now, let's get through this developer transition, and we'll worry about those the things like that. <clears throat> Any plans to change exterior alarms to not affect basement doors? That is a piece of feedback that we love. Uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of that. I, I like the idea there. Andy brought this up to me recently. Uh, shout out to Andy and whoever it was on the sub. I wish I had your username on the subreddit that brought this up to him, talking about exterior alarms. We're... In the process of presenting all of that feedback and getting that to the right people. Now, just because I say I love it doesn't mean that's eventually what's going to happen. There's no one person that makes that call. But it's definitely feedback we're presenting and we're hoping to get to the bottom of soon. What happened to the old Nicotero chainsaw sound during kills? I'm not sure I follow. As far as I know, the actual Nicotero chainsaw sound. Now, if you're talking about when Nicotero chainsaw had a swap chainsaw audio on accident... That we was should've... an issue with the audio, and we fixed it. Somebody should have picked the but questions Nicotero for it. Nicotero Chainsaw, as far as I know, only has had one sound. Um, let's see here. Are the sissy buffs still coming? Okay, we're getting to repeat questions, guys. So, And I'm losing my voice. Which so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go drink some water. You. And you guys are going to take any of these questions that we didn't get to. And please, by all means, hit up the at TX Chainsaw game on Twitter. Maybe Rob can run the lower third or something with all the info on it. Hit up at TX Chainsaw Game on Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit. <clears throat> Head over there and engage with our community team. Talk to them about, you know, all of the things you want to know more about. We'll get as many of them answered as possible. Um, the situation that brought this stream on, I just want to say briefly, the situation that brought this stream on is it's, we're in a rough spot right now and we're working through it. Um, I'm, I'm not pretending like that's not the case. Um, but that being said, I hope that this helped. I know for some of you, you're going to walk away from this feeling that you want to know more, hear more, or, or, or you know, you wished for a, a something more concrete, like, well, these are the dates that these things are happening. I get that, and I understand that frustration, and I don't have a reply to it. All I can say is this is what we can do to try to get this, this, and when I say this, I mean a face behind the camera to talk to you guys and talk through some of this stuff. This is what we can do to hopefully get to a better spot, and... Um, other than that, it's a matter of both sides doing the work, and um, we appreciate you guys bringing us all your feedback, and we're doing all we can to make sure we keep bringing it up to the right folks. Uh, that's going to pretty much do it for me today. Um, yeah, I, I look forward to the next check-in, and I look forward to, you know, sharing some more on that new family member, sharing some more on that new execution pack. You guys recall in a past stream we talked about how brutal they are, and I don't think we've seen the most brutal ones yet. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Um, we appreciate you, and thank you for hanging out with me today and getting through this.
Uh, take care, gang. <sighs> Thanks, man. Bye. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. That was fun. I had a lot of fun. That was great. I, You know, I will say, uh, Matt did a, uh, a better job there um, than I anticipated him being uh, solo and all. Uh, but please don't ever have him be solo again. Uh, he doesn't... He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't be, deserve to be thrown in the wolves like that. Um, also, I n- new new thing I'd like to see. There should always be a member of the community team on these streams. I don't care if they ha- have Matt, Wes, and then Andy or Sid or Jet. But I how, how many? I don't want to listen. I don't want to get mad already. I don't want to get. I'm trying to not be frustrated today on a Thursday, dude. I I tell you. Um, it, it drives me nuts that they are always like, oh, let me check in with the community team and I'll get back to you. How about you just grab one of those fuckers and put them on the stream? Go grab Andy and put them on a mic and then problem solved. Because, like, nobody knows your community more than the people that are working with your community. So let let them talk. I don't understand why they're so hesitant to do that. Like, get Jet on there. Get Andy on there. Get get Sid on there. Let them, let them do what they got to do. Uh, and, and I'd be there, but whatever. Um, hold on a second. I'm actually, I am going to call Anthony and I swear to God, if he doesn't answer, hold on, hold on. He's going to answer. I can feel it. I hate him. He's not going to answer. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing. That's it. Uh, okay. The honestly, so this was kind of what we expected. I think this was the right call to do for this stream to have it where don't reveal any content. Let's not do that because if they were to reveal content today, it would have been like a saving face type of thing. And I think that's exactly right. Like if you're jumping right into marketing, uh, marketing your next piece of content that paid content then you you already know you're you already know then that it's it, it's gonna be bad it's gonna be bad uh one thing you said that really drove me nuts is that the like the biggest problem with the lobbies is uh well yeah that's the point he, yeah no I'm, I'm not talking to anthony anthony d who's reacting to this stream too i'm not calling anyone from gun um Saying that lobby dodging is the problem with the this dead the lobby system is, is silly. I mean, yes, like do something about that. Like try to try to have, I don't know, you, having a timeout system would be rough. I don't think that would help at all. But go have something in play that that helps, and then yeah, like sure that'll help some. But the problem is once somebody does dodge, why does it take so long to fill that spot back up? Like that's that's where it's a problem and it's not just the lobby dodging over and over again I, I think that's really dismissing a massive problem with this lobby and if they if that's like their mentality and the dev team's mentality then it's never going to be fixed dude because like that's people are going to dodge no matter what it's going to keep happening 90 days he said exactly what i thought he would you know it's like hey we were we, we weren't actually trying to isolate to a specific day well, that's just Matt had, or not Matt, but Wes had bad wording on that when he said 90 days or less. Um, perk patch. I, the perk patch, I'm glad that they're still doing it. And it's a perk patch that isn't really meant to change the numbers or the, the actual statistics of the perks themselves, but they're moving perks on the trees. So probably taking away things like, you know, maybe some toughness perks away from like Ana and Leland adding them to characters like Sunny, you know, moving powered around, moving fast hands around, whatever it is. So I'm into that, but that's probably going to roll into early summer. Patch on April 30th. That's uh, two weeks from now. New family cosmetic with that. Patch every two weeks. And then a new cosmetic is also coming out in two weeks, yeah. Uh, they also said something, fr- something free is going to be on the, the April 30th update. I don't know what that means. But, eh. Uh, one cosmetic per every, per patch. They're trying to drop a cosmetic every two weeks for, like, 
as long as they possibly can, indefinitely, if you will. My my only issue with doing that, uh, no more bundles? Or do you have to wait until all these cosmetics come out and then maybe they bundle them? In which case, you're just you're missing out on content for however long that is, you know, two months at a time, maybe longer. So no more bundles kind of sucks. Family Cosmetics, two ninety nine, blah, blah, blah. And it's the first time they talked about licenses and didn't say no. So that's good news. Level cap confirmed. Again. <laughs> Interested in map voting. And then, yeah, exterior alarm. So, ugh. Ugh. That's, it was, it was all right. I mean, kill me. It's just, it, it when it rains, it pours with this game. I'm trying to call Anthony again. Museum mode could be. Yeah. Yeah, you see both of them. The Stormy's right there, too. This guy never answers my calls. Oh, he did it! I answered. Are you live? Still? I am live, yeah. Why didn't you answer my Discord call? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Answer my Discord call so we don't talk to ourselves. Let's see, are you already talking to somebody else? No. Okay, answer my Discord call. We could be friends. Okay. Okay. He answered my call. Aha. Hello. What's up, man? What's up? All right, give it to me straight. What are your honest thoughts on that stream? Uh, I don't even know, dude. I'm just, I'm kind of in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I mean, I think they did the right thing not uh revealing new content today uh mm -hmm. but if they ever have matt go solo again i'm gonna be uh up in arms about it throwing that man to the wolves <sighs> I don't oh know. wait sorry yeah he uh he looked kind of sad he looked defeated well yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's just putting on one hell of a performance when he does that. You know, I feel like he's just, he's like, all right, I got to If I'm happy in this stream, then <laughs> the people are going to think I'm mocking them. What, oh, dude? All right. Because I want to make sure I'm not crazy. What, how'd you feel about that? Uh, that not apology? Yeah, that was a, I, I'm surprised he read that. Dude. I don't think he saw the full message. Dude, I don't know why you, this is what he, right when he started reading, I'm like, oh my goodness, what are you doing, man? He did that a couple times. I was like, ooh, why are you, why are you reading that? Yeah, I, I was saying that like, all right, let's have the community team send him like questions on a doc so that doesn't happen again. Because good grief. Don't have so the man just what, reading chat. What do you think about, um. Like it kind of seemed like he was hinting at a penalty for lobby dodging. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't like the fact that he said that lobby dodging is the biggest issue when it's not. Like people are mm -hmm. always going to dodge, and you can't stop people from backing out of a non-ranked lobby. To, like so many things could happen. It's what you want to give people timeouts and shit for backing out of a game. Like once a game starts, then fine, that's fair game. But to like penalize somebody for backing out of a lobby, I don't know that. That seems like a little much, and it's going to just make it... People are just going to get pissed off about it. Yeah, I don't love that. You know, like, why not just, you know, fix the uh, fix the backfill problem? That would help. I also don't love that it seems like they still uh, have no clue on, like, what's going on with the lobby. It, well, yeah, that's that was one thing that didn't help. Him saying, like, ah, lobby dodging is probably the biggest problem. Like, no, it's not. It can't, like, and if it is... Because th that would mean your, like, player discrepancy is, like, 90% victim. And I there's no way that's the case. Because the players are there. There's de there's definitely enough players playing to fill lobbies. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Especially to fill it when it's just, like, one family member and you're there for, like, 45 minutes. Yeah. But if, if, if that is the case, if it is so, it's, okay, lobby dodging's a problem, there's not enough family players to fill the spot, then you need to add an incentive for people to play family, like XP bonuses or something. Something. Yeah. Although at this point, because the, because you can't unlock anything from leveling up, there's really no, even with an XP bonus, like, would you want to just go out of your way and play family if there was an XP bonus? I wouldn't. Yeah. But uh, patches and content every two weeks, though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 
that that is nice and that i guess that's looking back it's nice to have black tower on it for that reason because uh, it's really going to be the only live service game they're working on so they can do things like that mm -hmm. you like the cosmetics being spread out that way instead of like, uh, we were drops. talking about it like i know some people don't love at least they call it drip feed or whatever yeah I, I don't mind it too much i think i'd rather just a healthy amount every once in a while rather than waiting for like a bid drop yeah, I think with things like cosmetics, I'm cool with drip feeding because uh, it is – otherwise you go months without anything. I mean, how long yeah. did we go before we got that first uh, victim bundle? It was like three months, three months before we got any cosmetics. Like I, I'm cool yeah. with the two weeks thing. Um, I'm glad the family's cheaper because they're, they're new one at a time now. Yeah, and no uh, – I, I wonder why they're doing that where victims get the retailers but family not. I I imagine it's because the outfits are like very specific, especially the licensed ones. Like if they're, mm -hmm. it was probably already a pain to get shit approved on Hitchy and Cook and Leatherface for that matter. So if you're doing recolors, it's probably even more complicated. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah, I don't I don't know who knows, but uh, the only thing that kind of sucks about it is that they're not going to be able to do bundles anymore. You're not going to be able to get that like one free character because they're drip feeding it. Yeah, but Fitz is every two weeks. Sounds exciting. Yeah, as long as they, as long as they commit to it. <laughs> yeah, as we'll, long as it's real. Yeah, we'll see. Have you? Uh, are you very aware of the the Leatherface door slam? Have you seen that in action and what it looks like? Yeah, where he just like he gets the little thing around his uh, screen, but he can just move in like two seconds. Yeah, it's just like one little stumble back. Yeah. Yeah, I that's, I, that's I like on it. purpose, right? Is that what he was trying to say? Yeah, and actually, um, you know Andy Murray, um, the lead animator at Sumo, mm -hmm. he he messaged me. Uh, this was before I'm actually like it was like two minutes before Sid actually confirmed on the subreddit. So I was like, oh, all right, an exclusive, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, she confirmed it. Um, because <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, this is like how it's supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to look like. It, it, again, it might still change. They might still be adjusting it, but. He's like, that's where it was supposed to be from the get go, is what it sounded like. It's like that's Leatherface is, should not be getting knocked on his back like that, the way it was. He he should still he still does it if he runs into a, an electric grate, but not if he's getting hit by a door by a hundred and ten pound Connie. It's like so that's how it's supposed to be. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. I'm cool with that. I like him being like you had to take him serious. He's the big bad. I'm cool. Yeah. I think it should last like one second longer. Because right now, you can door slam him and not even have enough time to, like, latch the door, you know, that you, that you okay. slammed him with. <laughs> yeah. So it, it would be nice if at least have give enough time where you can close that door and latch it. So an extra second-ish, and it's probably in a pretty good spot where he's still scary and you don't want to stick around and keep trying to fight him, but you can still actually make movement on it. Wow, so he was never supposed to get flatlined on the ground like that. That's what it sounded like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the fact that it was like that for eight months is, if that's the case, if that's really what he meant, that it was day one, he wasn't supposed to fall on his ass like that, mm. and that's crazy that it took so long to get the correct animation in. Wow. I, he mentioned the 90-day 90, 90 thing. Uh, yeah, and he, I mean, he circled it exactly how I thought he would. It's like, ah, we didn't mean like a specific day. <laughs> you know, we, ah, that's not... How, yeah, it was just bad wording by Wes when he said 90 days or less rather than around 90 days or something like that. He was mm -hmm. 90 days or less. Like, okay. So how uh, how far do you think we are from that stuff now? I I'm, my uh, my The businessman inside of me says end of May, right when Killer Clowns drops. Yeah. I guess that made sense. Yeah, that's that's what I would think. They start teasing probably early May, and then, yeah, right at the end of May. Well, um, I don't know. That's a long time to wait for that family member. Yeah, I don't love that. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, they said there was going to be something free on the 30th. What do you think that's going to be? Uh, something free. I have no idea. It's too soon for museum mode, right? I would think so. What? The 30th? That's not even that far away. Yeah, he said there's going to be a cosmetic in there, a new family cosmetic. But then he was like, 
he was the people were asking about free content and he said there should be something free in the 30th even it's like what are we talking mm-hmm. about shirtless nancy <laughs> bloody nancy i was thinking but i don't know that well it could be but it sounded he talked about that specifically and it sounded like it's just now in the works so yeah but they're playing catch up on it yeah <sighs> well dead. give it like a six out of ten mm, dead game okay i wouldn't go that far mm, dead game <laughs> this is the end <laughs> <laughs> No. It did scare me a little bit when they said we're going to talk about the state of the game. Yeah. I guess that they were trying to put an emphasis that it wasn't a content stream. Yeah. So we didn't get our hopes up. But jokes on him, we always get our hopes up. <laughs> uh, no Wes either. I was sad. Yeah. And then they just, instead of having someone else fill the spot, we're like, yeah, hey, you know what? Get in there, Matt. You got it, brother. <laughs> you it, it down. Gosh. You think uh, Wes is actually sick? You think he? I hope so. <laughs> think he's threw Matt underneath the bus. <laughs> I, I don't think he would be the type to let Matt just take it all by himself. No, I don't. I don't think so either. I think uh, like everybody is sick right now. I got sick. Uh, everyone I know was getting sick. <laughs> That's that that season change, man. Were you looking at chat during this? Uh, like no, no, I never do because it's always toxic. Yeah, I was wondering if it was pretty bad. Yeah, they did have slow mode on, though, so that helps. I uh, think my question got answered about Matt floating. Yeah, yeah, only, yeah. Only put it ten times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that they're interested in it. He, That'd be pretty cool. What about like serial alarms on, on basement doors? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that I'm kind of just, I don't even know what to think about it. Sometimes it's like, sometimes it feels super powerful, and then sometimes it doesn't really matter to me. We um we did a dedicated video on this like a while back, and that was the exact suggestion that we made was mm-hmm. just don't have it on basement doors anymore. Uh, so well, now it doesn't even have the noise thing. I think the not having the no- or the, it has the noise thing now. That kind of sucks. Right. So, before you could tell. Yeah. So now it's even worse for victims. So yeah, I just don't have it apply to basement doors. It that's especially on maps like Family House when it's on a basement yeah. doors, you can't do shit. Like if they yeah. if they have exterior alarms on quickly, you're how are you you can't even get out of the basement. Yeah, before we would see that they would have it on, and then we would just try to you know go stab grandpa to take care of it. But now you can't. It's, it's even stronger. Yeah, yeah. Are you uh, are you aware of the like the the crazy train I went on after I was told about the donation that happened in your stream? The crazy what? I don't know what other word to use. The tangent I went on about it? Uh, no, I'm not aware. You So, uh, people came into our chat and were saying how Wes came into your stream and donated, which I was already like, all right, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, saying that there, there's a, a mountain, what, about to blow the mountaintop off or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you heard the what Kane Hodder said about the next family member? About who it is. Yeah, I just heard this the other day that he's like um, a, a big dude or something. Yeah, Kane said he was a six foot ten, bald, famous guy. Uh, so this whole time I've been thinking Tyler Maine. That makes complete sense. He's in that that group of people, especially with like Scout being in the game, you know. So that made sense to me. But then when the way that donation was uh, worded, I was like, Mountain. That's kind of that's very specific. I was like, Oh my god. What if he's talking about the mountain, half Thor Julius Bjornsson, huh? And the six foot ten bald famous guy is actually Thor, the guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, that would no. be pretty crazy. Now, also, wait, what? Kane said he was bald and famous. Mm-hmm. Bald and famous, six foot ten, bald and famous. Which calling? Is he allowed to say that? No, <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy. He's uh, yeah. But what are you gonna do? You assume? Yeah, I, guess, I guess he can do what he wants. Yeah, he's Kane Hodder. What are you going to do about it? He's like the biggest face of your game. Um, yeah, so... And he, and he said to a random person at, at a table that was like he was signing an autograph for, didn't expect him to be a snitch and put it on Facebook. But Derek Mears wow, is not I asked him. I asked him for TCM info and he said he couldn't give me any. You got you to gotta, you gotta poke him a little bit. You got to poke the bear <laughs> a little bit because he, he wants to talk about it. 
So it, it he can't he can't help himself. So if you start like like man, and I, I heard I heard this about the new family member, then then he'll say some shit like that, you know. Um, yeah, he just went on telling me that he got COVID at that TCM pre-release party. He yeah he did yeah yeah so did like everybody. Wow, bald and and tall and famous. Yeah. Yeah, Derek Mears has been thrown around a little bit, but Derek's only 6'5". Dude, Derek would be so cool. Yeah, Derek would be cool. If, even if this isn't him, who they're, they're talking about here, they would be cool to have Derek. But, you know, Ken Kurzinger is too short for that description. It, it would be it'd be like Tyler Maine, at least in the horror circle of, like, these people. Uh, it would be like Tyler Maine or um, who's that other dude? Who, who's the sheriff in... Uh, uh, Rob something. The sheriff in House of a Thousand Corpses. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. God. I can't remember his name. But he's also like 6'9", six, 6'10". Six, but he's not bald. He's got long ass hair. So Tyler Maine. Like it's got to be Tyler Maine. But I'm all. But now, because of you and your trolls, I'm thinking. Yeah, that made it to Reddit, by the way. I saw. Yeah. I mean, you, I, I'm, glad <laughs> they, I'm glad they showed up in your stream because it, it got you a little word of mouth there. Yeah, I was, I was, I saw it on Reddit, and instantly started panicking. So I had to just write in there like, "Hey, it's fake." Nah, you should have ran it. Oh <laughs> just let it go. It's like I cannot confirm or deny if that was Wes Keltner who donated to my stream, which he would never ever do. <laughs> oh, Vin Diesel is bald and all about family. So yeah, he's I don't also know how tall he is. What is he? He's like right around six foot, right? He seems like a big guy. Oh. oh, Glenn Jacobs, but he's technically seven foot. That would also be really cool. That would be pretty cool. We get the Knox County mayor in there. I want Derek Mears now. Der yeah, that's one. If if they are not already talking to Derek, they should. But he's, yeah, he's, he's probably is. expensive. But so I would is, think so Thor is it? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. If they can't afford Derek, they can't afford Thor. Robert Mukes, Nick just messaged me. Robert Mukes, that's who that guy is uh, from House with Thousand Corpses. It's like six foot nine, six foot ten, but he's got long ass hair. So they gotta be bald, huh? That's what he said. That by the way, this is some random chick on Facebook that it revealed this could be total bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> could be complete nonsense. Nothing even close. It felt so specific, and it sounded like something Kane would say. You know, I was like, yeah, that sounds like something he would just casually leak at a convention. Because it, it came from uh, Monster Mania, I think, was that weekend. Uh, yeah, it was in March. It was Monster Mania, I think. Uh, so I was like, yeah, that sounds like, you know, if, you, if you've seen Kane at a convention, you know people are handing him, like, bottles of tequila all day. Mm -hmm. So you, you get a couple shots in, and all of a sudden you're, you're leaking future content. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, though. And you think we're, uh, we're going to see this at the end of May? Like if I had to, you know, put put a gun to my head and and ask me to say a date, yeah, I would say end of May. But it, it might end up being sooner than that. It better not be later than that, because goddamn. Yeah, I hope not. <sighs> no museum mode though. Well, no tease, nothing. Well, as this Maria crap keeps playing out, uh, and they keep kind of expanding this lore. I'm sure if Maria is alive uh, and they plan on making her a victim, that she would come alongside the museum mode or shortly after it. So museum mode probably can't come out until she's ready. Mm -hmm. So there, there's that too. But who knows? That'd be, I hope that's how they do it. If Maria's alive, I would like to see it in the museum mode. I want to find her in museum mode. I think you're going to end up playing as her. Oh, like you're her the whole time inside the house. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. It, but you gotta, I don't know how you do it where it makes any sense. Like, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to have it where, cause, cause there'd have to be no voice lines. Otherwise you'd figure it out right away. And then yeah. there'd have to, like, you'd have to start like in the basement escaping. That could be cool, though. Yeah, it could be. He gets out of her ties, gets out of the basement, explores the house. Yeah, and like, and then it ends with her, like, you looking in the mirror and seeing all the damage to your face and shit. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You... Release date. Yeah, Uber Jason, but it actually comes out. Yeah, literally. Yeah, I could see. I could see that. Maybe. Done. Do it. Yeah, cause I can't imagine Odd Gentleman. Cause when was this museum mode announced? Six months ago. Wasn't it in the ninety day announcement stream? I think the the original announcement for it was like before Nancy came out. Huh. <sighs> yeah. So in that long. Yes, yeah, so, and then you know, obviously they were working on it probably well before that. So, I would think with Odd Gentleman doing it, they they got to be creeping up on it. They got to be yeah, close to being so. done. Because once we get done with Maria. It's chop top time. It's on to chop top. <laughs> if they if they do licensed content, you think that's they just go in order? How do they how do they go about that? In order makes sense, but I want remake content like today. So yeah, I, I think waiting to do the remake would be a mistake. If you if you go to do like TCM two, three, four, and then finally we move on to the remake, I I don't know. There's no guarantee we get that far in this game's life cycle. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so, Let's do it now. Yeah, I would. I I genuinely would start with the remake. That's where I would go first, especially if you can get if you go not just a Leatherface skin and map. If you actually like grab Sheriff Hoyt or something like that. Oh gosh, yeah. Just a Gabeel. That that would be crazy. But what's she doing these days? Am I still talking to you? Mm -hmm. Cool, because my OBS just crashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I'm back. Are you are you streaming? Yeah, this whole time. Yeah, sorry. I should I should have made that clear, huh? <laughs> no, you're fine. Fuck. I, are, you, are you still streaming? Yeah, I'm still streaming. Okay. Well, why did you tell me? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured. I'm glad you are. But yeah, I was, I was streaming too. So I, didn't, I, was, uh, I should have said that because otherwise it would have been awkward. You were just going to be like, yeah, so Wes DM'd me after he donated a bunch of money to me and confirmed <laughs> the next family member. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't really think I have anything else. I will say that's the first time they, that uh, they talked about licensed content, and he didn't just outright say, no, we don't have the licenses. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I, I feel I still I still feel good about, about the future for the game. I like that they admitted... I, th I like that he admitted that they're in a rough spot. Yeah, the, the only thing that he said that I was, like, full-on laughing at was the apology. Yeah, if you need an apology or something like that. Yes, it was one thing to read it out loud to begin with, but then when he was like, "If you need an apology, I'm sorry, but actually, fuck off." <laughs> I was the like, thing Dude, is, what are you doing, man? The more he read it, you could tell that he started regretting it, and I've done that before. So uh -huh, it's it's uh -huh. super annoying. That's they. He should have somebody else just copy and pasting spe very specific questions and putting into like a Google Doc for him to, to yeah. do that but yeah for him for him to be like i'm actually i'm not sorry at all i wanted to be like dude can you apologize i don't care about anything related to the game and and how you're handling that because yeah dude you're just doing your job but can you apologize for the deucey trolling posts that you made that were like just created all hell for your community team oh the twitter stuff yeah i was like that that did nothing but fuck over your community team so if you you don't have to apologize to me but can i hear you apologize to the rest of the community <laughs> team because good grief yeah i didn't didn't love that stuff that was rough that was that was a rough time it's hard to watch Go, going into the fan tcm was like i was like oh no 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 no. oh yeah when he went in there and like uh was posting screenshots and shit yeah <sighs> I don't know. He, it was a full moon, brother. Something, something <laughs> caught him. I don't know. I don't know. He's been, he's been very good since then. Yeah, yeah. And all considered, he did, he did a pretty good job in that stream. All considered. Yeah, I thought so too. So Although I don't get why they don't just throw Andy in there, or Sid. It drives me nuts. I every time when he's like, I'm gonna go ch let me check my community team and then we'll come back. Like, why don't you just put him on the stream? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Like, Especially what? Andy, because he's so likable. Yeah, like, it's hard to be mad at him. Andy can single-handedly save this community. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like having somebody who you, you like is probably the most hated person. I know that's unfortunate for Matt, but he probably is like the most hated person in the community just because of that that old trolling thing is sitting in the mm -hmm. back of people's minds when they see him. 
Uh, it's like, don't let him go by himself with the wolves like that. Like, yeah. let, let Andy in there. Let Sid, Jet. We haven't, like, never really gotten to talk to Jet at all. Yeah. I don't know. That's their job. They're a community team. They address the community. And they're pretty good at it because they get a lot of, like, hate. Yeah. Yeah. And then the things that are, like, very specific were co- based on community feedback where you're trying to answer Q&A questions about it nobody's going to answer them better than the people that deal with it all day. Mm-hmm. I don't go, I don't get why they are so scared to put Andy sitter jet on the streams. I was so happy when Andy was on there with, with Ronnie. Yeah. It's my favorite stream. Yeah. Same. And not to, Andy was literally a streamer and a podcaster and he did yeah, pretty damn good. He's built for this. He's built different. <laughs> put him in there. When he starts laughing and giggling, dude, it's 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 hard to be mad at what's going on. Yeah, he's just, I mean, he's as real as a as a fan as it gets. Like he, he's one. I mean, I think they're all true horror fans. They are, and I'm sure a lot of them are very passionate about TCM. But he's one that it projects in a physical form. Like you see it yeah. that he's excited to be there. It's a good man. <sighs> How are those parties on Steam treating you? Horrible, sucks. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't talk about that, did they? I asked it. I, asked, I think I asked it twice, and they got ignored. So I tried a little bit, but yeah, it sucks. Yeah, they didn't mention party disbanding at all either. And because it kind of came out of nowhere, like when we played after the update, everything was fine, and then like two or three days after the update, just randomly broken. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if they're like hot fixing shit and they're not telling us, and then things break. Yeah, it's weird. It, it it's like uh one of those things where it just it makes it hard to stream this game like already just sitting in the lobby makes it hard to stream this game but now i can't like play with people and talk to people it makes it even worse if i yeah if i was in your position i would be done until further notice <laughs> like it's time to hey try to join the consoles yeah it seriously is time get on it Join I was going to get one the other day, but then I heard there was, like, rumors of, like, a PS5 Pro, and I'm like, oh, should I wait, or? Yeah, wasn't it? I think it was legitimately confirmed now. Like, they, they re- revealed the specs on it, I think. Yeah. But that's going to be expensive. Yeah. Yeah, just go get a PS5. I've seen the games you play. You don't need a big fancy machine. What? I, I play Evil Dead. That's pretty much it, actually. You say you play Evil Dead? Yeah, I'm trying to 100% it, so it's like all I've been playing for the last month. On Steam? Yeah. I, yeah. I owned it on uh, Epic, but it came to Steam, and I have to 100% it on Steam. So You didn't ask me to join you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome to carry there, too. I don't mind. I, I'm i surprised you haven't already 100% it if you've been playing that much, because I, I did it like the first week. It's the, the Matt's level. That's what's killing me right now. I'm 48. I gotta get to 100. Oh yeah, that's not even max level. It's it's like indefinite. Oh, oh god. Yeah, it just keeps going. But there there's not like yeah it, it yeah it's kind of like how uh, Call of Duty is now where you can just kind of keep going. But there's yeah. That can't, I, you should try. Um, don't stop playing until you max prestige all your characters. Like um, in the book, you're talking about just get them to 25. And and then there's also five prestiges. What do you want me to prestige five all of them? Yeah, I do. I literally worked on the game, and I uh, I have not done that. That's the grind in that game is insane. Yeah, at first it was minimal. You know, it was like there was not much. uh, You kind of max out your characters pretty quickly, and then they add that prestige mode, and it was relentless. It. it, Yeah. Nope. I will never uh, never do that. I'll never mention those And I play characters. at night, so everyone I'm with is a Prestige 5, and they all hate me. Yeah, there's some real... Anyone playing that game at this point, eh, they're sweating real bad. Yeah. Those demons, they're brutal. Are you trying to play demons out here you're playing? Uh, right now I'm playing demons because I think you get more points playing demons. Yeah, usually. Who you made a in. demon is not fun. It's fun when you win. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the biggest issues with Evil Dead is I think demons just so frustrating. 
Yeah, it, they they made a lot of changes to balance and just never quite got it right. And then by before they actually were getting to a point where it was getting better, they stopped supporting it. Yeah, breaks my heart. <sighs> yeah, can that can that game get the predator treatment? You know, random, actually, yeah, random comeback. It? Yeah, random comeback. That'd be nice. Yeah, that, there was so much potential to miss with that game. I mean, the amount of content that uh, could have been that hasn't been. It's a shame. Yeah. But Predator is weird to bring back. I don't know. But I know you like Predator. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun game. It's, it's one that, well, it, it's as close to F-13 uh, in terms of, like, being casual. Although, mm-hmm. man, some Predators, the spammy Predators, they make me want to die. Um. Uh, but yeah, like it's pretty casual. You you don't have to sweat your ass off. You can just kind of run around and do dumb shit, kill AI. But it's too yeah, I linear. I think I played it on. I think I played it on PlayStation. So like the frame rate was like five FPS per second, and it sucked. Yeah, yeah. Now on on PS five, you can uh, turn the frame cap off, and it runs pretty smooth. It's not oh, bad. nice. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's definitely better on PC, but it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, that game was just a little too linear, and they never got out of the jungle. Despite the the, the maps they released, yeah. they never got out of the jungle. All the maps are, like, especially with Predator, when you can go to space, like, I don't get it. Yeah, they can do anything. I mean, they can, t- they can go back in time. They can do prehistoric shit. I was, we did a podcast way back when, before the game even came out, that was like, you could go to the Civil War. You could go, you could go, yeah. like, you could do, well, now you could do Prey. You could just straight up do what Prey did. You could, yeah. The option, and then you can go to Antarctica for like Alien versus Predator and things like that. Uh, they just never did. So I hope I that changes. City. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I uh, I hope that happens. I think what they they struggled with was the because of the tree mechanic and how Predator navigates. They didn't know mm-hmm. how to implement that into a space that didn't have the jungle. That makes sense. I don't know. Hopefully that changes as they. Uh, start to bring back content and release on next gen and yada yada yeah little phonic is kind of doing their thing right now they're cooking over there killer clowns predator ghostbusters yeah yeah the potential killer clowns kills tcm <laughs> dude People say I that. hope not. People say that all the time. I I think yeah. the player base will be completely different. Like, yeah, like, it, it it's it's like two complete different goals. Yeah, like it, like us p- people that are watching like these streams and, and the the diehard ASIM fans, like yeah, we're gonna go play both. Like we're gonna transfer from TCM to Killer Clowns and probably back and forth. But most of the people playing Killer Clowns are probably people that never even played TCM. Like that, not most, but yeah. probably a majority, um, are just gonna be people that are like, oh, that looks fun. That's that's something I'm gonna try out with my friends. Versus like, oh, I like TCM. I'm gonna play Killer Clowns too. That that crossover isn't very high. Maybe the, the first like couple weeks will be like that, but after that, it it, it kind of evens itself back out. It's why Dead by Daylight continues to do well. Yep. Are you excited for that uh one week early access? Yeah, that's nice. I, I actually I was one that preferred that over a beta. I understand the use of a beta, but if they feel like they're in a good spot, then cool, let's get this thing out. We've been waiting a long time. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I wish it went to PAX. Dude, I I tried. I really tried, but it, I have no money. <laughs> But one of these days. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll uh, I'll leave you alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no worries. Well, thanks for the, the talk, dude. It's been a pleasure. Have a good one. We- Bye to your stream. Enjoy your Thursday. You uh, streaming later? I will be working later. <clears throat> what about tomorrow or the next day? Uh, I should be this weekend. It just depends on the whole party thing. 
Oh, yeah. All right, go buy a console today, and then <laughs> we'll get started this weekend uh, on that, that grind. Good luck. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you later, man. Later, dude. See. That's a good man. That's a that's a good man. If you're not uh, if you're not subscribed to old I Anthony D, go subscribe. He's just a goat of the ASIM community. And those are the facts. I didn't make them. That's just the way it is. Huh? Uh, all right, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Then uh, he's on YouTube. Yes, I Anthony D. One word. Good man. Uh. That's it. I should be back tonight streaming old TCM. We could talk about this some more, but uh, that's that stream. Not Honestly, not that bad. It's, it's, I'm glad that they just addressed the community and didn't throw more fucking paid DLC in my face. Uh, and I think Black Tower doing the bi-weekly updates, fortnightly, if you will, as Mr. Uh, Mr. Shot just said, I, I think that shows a lot of potential. I think we got to get through this shit we got to get through this mess, fix these damn lobbies, fix this <laughs> fix this damn party system and this damn meta game and then we'll be in a we'll be in a good spot. But the only thing they actually they showed a date for was April 30th and that's for the next patch which will have a family cosmetic in it and they, he said something free. That's it. Um that's it. I'll quit uh, I'll quit uh, blabbering. Uh, I'll catch you on the flippity flip. I'll see you tonight. See you.